The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development, with a platform and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives. At The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. These Best You Expo Talks are recorded in front of a live audience in a live event. We highly recommend that you focus on the message. As they say, what you focus on expands. Enjoy. Sarah Davison, or Sarah. I've known Sarah for a long time. She's been at the forefront of what she specializes in, which is helping people overcome breakup, divorce, or in helping you find ways to find love. She's tremendously experienced and she's obviously one of the leaders in the industry. Uh, the title of her talk is The Five Secrets to Becoming an Outstanding Coach and Growing a Successful Coaching Business. Are you looking to become a coach or do you have an existing coaching business that has not reached its full potential yet? As one of the UK's leading breakup and divorce coaches, Sarah will teach you how to stand out in the crowd. Sarah has a phenomenal brand. She's extremely good at what she does, and I highly, highly recommend you listen to her talk. Thank you so much. All the best. Bye. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I hope you're enjoying the show. My name is Sarah Davison, and I'm starting two minutes early because I know I've got lots of information I want to share with you. And I've only got 20 minutes today. Normally, I speak for an hour. So I'm going to try and give you as much as I possibly can in the time that we've got together. Um, I'm talking on the five secrets to becoming an outstanding coach. Not a good coach, not a great coach, but an outstanding coach. And I'm going to share with you my secrets on that, as well as how to grow a successful coaching business. Because if, even if you are an outstanding coach, if nobody knows that you're there, then that's no good either. So before I share the secrets with you, it'd be really good for me to understand who's in the room today, because I want to make sure that I tailor what I'm going to talk about to who's here. So what I'd be interested to know is which of these two camps that you find yourself in. Are you someone who's looking to become a coach? Someone that's new to coaching? Maybe you're struggling to find the right direction to go in. Or maybe it's just interesting. You put your hands up the people who are thinking about becoming a coach. Great. Okay, lots. Okay, and then who in the, in the room has an existing coaching business? They're coaching already, they have a business up and running, but they're looking to take it to the next level. Great. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for that. So... What I thought would be a good place to start is to explain to you how to create a global coaching brand. Now, in order to do that, I want to explain to you what a global coaching brand is, what it means. Now, I've created a global coaching brand, and I'm going to explain to you how my business is set up so that when I go on to the secrets, you can see how you can apply the secrets to create the same thing for yourselves, okay? So, to have a global coaching business, you have to have clients around the world, okay? So, I have a coaching clinic in Ascot, where I live. I also have a base in London, which helps for people that come into the UK to see me. I also have clients around the world. So I use video coaching. Does anyone here who's got on a business use video coaching right now? Yeah. Great. Okay. So I use Zoom. I think that's a brilliant technology. Some people use Skype. So that's part of it. I also have two best-selling books. The Split, From Breakup to Breakthrough in 30 Days or Less, that is my book that just came out last month. Um, it's published in America, actually, but it sells around the world on Amazon. I also have another book that came out in 2015 called Uncoupling, How to Survive and Thrive After Breakup and Divorce. That came out in the UK with Little Brown. I also run Breakup Recovery Retreats. So this is another part of my business, another business channel, if you like. So I like working live with people. So I take people away for two days who are going through any kind of heartbreak, separation, divorce. And we go to this beautiful place called Ashdown Park Hotel in East Sussex. And I immerse them in all my techniques for two whole days with me. So they go on a transformational journey. You may have seen that in the press. It's been dubbed as Heartbreak Hotel by the Daily Mail. <laughs> 
On top of that, I have another channel, which is my online products. So my online products range from how to get through heartbreak, so a video series, how to get through heartbreak and manage your divorce or separation, which is very similar to the retreat content, all the way through to how to become a breakup and divorce coach practitioner. So that's online. On top of that, I speak in the media a lot. Um, I Daily Telegraph, Marie Claire, I write for The Express. Uh, it's in the mail on the uh, day before Valentine's Day, a whole page article I'd written on the 10 signs to you know that you're really ready to start dating again. So this is important. I'm going to tell you why this is important for you building your business. As well as doing TV this morning, live phone-ins, Victoria Derbyshire, I had my own TV show called Heartbreak Hotel in Ireland on TV3. Um, and then probably more importantly to me is I'm the patron of a domestic abuse charity called Dash. Domestic abuse stops here. And because of that work, I also consult with the Ministry of Justice on the new changes that are coming up in the divorce laws. Much needed. So that's what I'm known for now. But 20 years ago, what a lot of people don't know about me is that I was starting out in the coaching business like many of you are today. I was totally confused and had no idea what to do. In fact, I'd done lots of training courses. Has anyone here done training courses? I did my... <laughs> yeah, I can see the rolling of the eyes. Um, I did uh, Anthony Robbins. Anyone study any of his work? Some of his courses, I did all of them around the world. So like America, UK, in Europe... I, and I loved it. Brilliant, brilliant content. But I still wasn't ready to become a coach. I still didn't quite know how to apply that. So then I did the NLP training here with Richard Bandler and Paul McKenna. Amazing. Anyone done that? Okay, so I did that as well. All the courses. I then trained in hypnosis. I then did EFT. Does anyone know about EFT? Tapping? Yeah. Brilliant techniques. But I didn't know how to apply them to my clients. I still didn't have the confidence to get out there and start coaching. Sound familiar to anyone? <laughs> then I thought, right, well, I'm going to read all the books I can possibly read. So I read like, Fiona Harold, she's here, amazing, her, her books, incredible. Still, I didn't know how to put my own personality on that content so I could start coaching. Then <laughs> I had the fear. Now the fear, I don't know if any of you can relate to this, is what happens if a client turns up to see me tells me their story, and I can't help them. What happens if I have brain freeze, and I go, oh, I don't know what to say. And they sit there, and they go, well, why? I'm paying you. Does anyone recognize that fear? Now, that's what I see with the coaches that I train now. A lot of people live with that fear of, what, well, but what if I can't help them? And on top of that, how do you grow a coaching business? It's different to a lot of other businesses because you're the face it is you. It's all about you. You can't hide behind anybody else. And also, you're the marketing team, the IT team, you're the promotions team, you're the accountant, God forbid, in my case. <laughs> um, so, it can be very challenging and very daunting. So, now, 20 years on, I've been coaching for 20 years. I'm best known as the divorce coach. And I have navigated my way through this. And I have found ways to shortcut and fast track your way to being an outstanding coach. Because quite frankly, there are techniques out there. There are things that I've spent tens of thousands of pounds on learning that don't create the massive transformations that you need to blow the bloody doors off with your clients. There's no point in them feeling slightly better you want them to leave with hope and a plan and ready to go kick some butt. So this is why this is really important. I've shortcutted that. I'm using all the time, all the years and years of training, and I've condensed it. And these secrets I'm going to share with you are going to show you how you can apply this to your businesses. If you're interested in speaking, exhibiting, or getting involved in the largest personal development expos in the world, contact us today at www.thebestyouexpo.com or send us an email to info at thebestyou.co. So the first secret is be yourself. And I don't know what you were like at school, but I wasn't very clever at school. I never really did well. I wasn't very popular. I wasn't very sporty. So I was just sort of average to bottom. <laughs> and I never really fitted in. But I was told, right, you could become a teacher, an accountant, if you're clever, maybe a lawyer, I was like, but I don't want to do any of those things. But I was pushed down that channel. Does anyone recognize that? 
it felt like a, yeah, like a round peg in a square hole. I was trying really hard, but I just couldn't really find where I was truly doing what I wanted to do. It was only when I left school that I realised you can do whatever you want. You can create a life that you want to do. I think I was on a Robin seminar. He stood up there and he said, you can create the life you want to have. I was like, can I? Well, so I could have my own business. I could be a coach. But that's the thing. When I was at Tony Robbins seminar, if any of you know what he looks like, we look quite different. <laughs> He's six foot seven and massive with hands bigger than my head. And he beats his chest and he jumps up and down to loud music. I was trying to be like Tony for a while. I was like, this is, this is never going to work. So then I went and did Paul McKenna's seminar. And Paul's a really good friend of mine, lovely guy, but way more intelligent and academic than I am and ever dreamed to be. And if anyone's met Richard Bandler, well, there's no way I could be like him either. So I was trying to be somebody else. So the message here is be yourself. It's only when you work out what your strengths are and your weaknesses, because we all have them, you have to face them, either improve them or find someone else to help you with that, okay? Now, this is really important to identify your coaching personality. What kind of coach do you want to be? What kind of uh, personal experience do you bring to it? Do you want to coach from home? Do you want to coach over Zoom, over Skype? You know, you've got to set the business up to work for you. If you can't work nine to five because you've got to do a school run, that's okay. Set the business up so you win. I have a client at the moment called Amanda and she's training with me to be a coach. And in our first session, she said to me, Sarah, I'm really shy. I'm not like you. I'm really quiet. She said, I couldn't do what you do. And I said, yeah, but the business you're setting up and I'm working with you to create is not going to be standing on stage and doing the things that I do. There's so, the coaching industry is booming right now. There are so many opportunities. If you highlight your own personality, you will attract the clients that prefer to come to you rather than anybody else. There's plenty, plenty of work for everybody in the industry. The second secret is find your niche. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, find something that you specialize in to stand out about above the crowd. Because it is a crowded marketplace coaching. There's lots and lots of live coaches. So what does that mean for you? It means that clients are going to find it hard to find you unless you stand out. So, for example, I'm the, the divorce coach. So breakup and divorce coaching is my niche. You can even have a niche within the niche. So I specialize in helping people coming out of abusive relationships. But I have other clients who are specializing. There's a lady I work with whose child has autism. So she's specializing with parents working in that field. But bring your personality, bring your passion, find something that you're passionate about. If you're a business coach or a health coach, any kind of coach, you know, find your niche because that is how people are going to attract them. That's how you're going to attract clients. Now, some people think having a niche can be limiting, but that's not true. I can tell you now that I have clients that come in because they're going through a breakup who I then coach on setting up a business, parenting. Last night, I was talking on uh, dating again. So there's so many different things that you can expand into. So don't think it's limiting. It's the complete opposite. What it does is it puts your head above the parapet so that people find you. And then secret three. Become the expert. Own your niche. Now, this is so important. People need to hear your opinions on things. You know, if, for example, for me, I mean, that's why the, the newspapers, the magazines, my website, I blog, um, social media. If there's something that comes out that's topical in your niche, jump on it, comment on it, retweet it. Go on other forums, talk about the thing that you want to be known as the expert in. Why would you do that? Because what that does is you become the go-to expert for people in that industry. Clients will find you. Also, the media will find you. And when the media start finding you, that's when you open up your business to lots more opportunities. So becoming the expert is really key. And that's how I got involved with the Ministry of Justice and the charity work I do, just by blogging and writing about your opinions. So you've got to put the hard work in, but it's definitely worth doing. Secret number four. To avoid the fear... You do need to have the skills, but you need the skills that are relevant, guys, not the skills that aren't. And there's a lot of skills out there that are okay, but really what you need is just to focus on the things that really work. For example, I have a 10-step coaching session structure plan. And what that does is it gives my clients everything they need to know from the minute you open the door and your client walks in to the minute they leave. So you know what questions to be asking, 
what red flags to be looking for. And even the way you write your notes in your notebook will help you come to the end so that you know what you're going to advise them on or direct them on and support them with. So these things are really important. But then the actual techniques of how to manifest that change within a client, because like I said, you want to blow the bloody doors off for clients. You want to leave them going, wow, that was incredible. I'm going back. So one of those skills that I can share with you today is my people reading radar. Now, this is something that I think is vitally important. All my years of coaching, this is actually the thing that actually helps me the most. So it's almost like you create your own scanning system so that when a client walks in, you can work out exactly what's going on. Not the front that they are presenting to the world, and we all do it, don't we? Have a mask and put that on. I want you to learn how to become Sherlock Holmes and dive deep behind that so you can work out what's making them tick. Not just what they look like, but beyond that. So I'm going to give you a little example of that today. So what I want you to do is to just pick someone in this room. Okay, we're all going to do it, so don't worry. Someone might be staring at you. But I want you to pick someone and just think. Now, you can do this on the bus, on the train, walking around here today. But find someone. I want you to have a think about, let's do the easy things. Like, well, what sort of age are they? Are they married? Do they have any visible signs about them that sh- tell you something about their personality? You know, are they wearing bright colours? Are they wearing sparkly tops? Are they wearing, you know, do they have tattoos? Or what, what do they have that gives you something that you can, you know, the obvious signs. But then once you've done that, I want you to dive deeper. What's their face say? What's their body language say to you? What can you tell that isn't initially obvious on first impact? Because that's where you start to make the difference. But of course, you have to avoid the common pitfall with this, which is assumption. Okay? Because just because they're doing something and if you did it, it would mean maybe that you are happy or that you are angry, you can't put that on somebody else. And that's the, that's the defining thing. When you can get good enough to understand that that expression does not mean the same that it would for you. For example, I'm working with a client at the moment and she's a really lovely woman. I'll say that first. <laughs> but she has this face. She's like this. All the time. This is her face. And she said to me, Sarah, everyone thinks that I'm angry all the time. I'm like, really? (laughs) She says, yeah, I've had it since I was young. Everyone thinks I'm really angry all the time. She said, this is my relaxed face. This is when I'm relaxed. And I'm like, oh, well, you can kind of see why they might think to me. She goes, I know, but I'm born with this. It's called resting bitch face. (laughs) I was like, okay. So we have to avoid those common pitfalls of putting the assumptions on. And that's where you get really good. That's where practice gets you what you need. So when a client walks in, you can just zap them almost and you get a better feel for them. And I've, I've been practicing this for, since I was getting the tube when I was 20 years old. And every time you practice it, the more you learn. So it's a really good technique. And, I, and it will change your coaching business if you can master that. Having promoted more than 600 speakers and more than 65,000 people attend my seminars and courses and workshops and expos, having read so many books and attended so many courses, I really realized that the basics of personal professional growth is based on the power of the question asking yourself empowering questions. Read my new book, The Question, Find Your True Purpose. It's based on my work, 30 years of entrepreneurship, all the experiences that I have, my manifesto, and what's really important. So for more information, go to www.thequestion.co. Secret number five is the one that is most missed. And the people that I see, the coaches that I see, this is so important, guys. Don't overlook and don't underestimate the importance of branding. It is the number one thing that coaches miss, mess up on, in my opinion. Branding is absolutely key. It is, branding needs to represent you and your coaching personality. So, you know, to, earlier we talked about finding out what kind of coach you wanted to be. If you can come up with five or six words that represent exactly the kind of coach that you want to be, then that becomes your brand. Create a brand around it. Now, by brand, I mean colours, I mean font, I mean style, everything this is, these are some of my products, but if you go to my stand, which is over there, E27, you'll see that everything has a consistent brand through it. This is the difference between a good coach and an outstanding coach, because a brand will help you get, that, get your head above the parapet. It will give the perception to people that you are professional, that you know what you're talking about, and it's consistent through everything that you do. So whichever course I bring out, whatever, you know, my website, all my website pages, everything flows 
this is really, really important. It will make a massive difference to your business. So it does take time. It's not something you can rush, but it's something that you need to build and create. Also, the name of your business. You know, think very carefully about the market that you want to attract and who that is appealing to and test it with other people. It might mean something to you, but to someone else, it might have a whole different connotation. My bonus secret. (laughs) Yes, coaching is a work of passion. Okay, it comes from the heart. But without a bit of oomph, you're not going to make it as an outstanding coach. Now, you need to, sometimes your business is going to be tough. You're going to have days where the article you're written gets taken down. Or, you know, the, news, the newspaper is always changing things, cutting things, and maybe not putting in the things that you want. Or maybe the clients cancel on you and you have to refund them. Yeah, you know, there's going to be times where it is tough. Building a coaching business takes time, it takes hard work and determination. But with a bit of oomph, you can get there. And that is going to push you over that good coach into outstanding coach. And gumption. You need a bit of gumption, guys. And gumption, I mean a bit of sass, a bit of attitude, but also, more importantly, a belief in yourself that you can do this and you can help your clients make positive transformations. Coaching is, I think, one of the most rewarding careers you can choose. It comes from the heart. It's not a nine to five. You'll hear stories that change how you feel and change the way you think. You'll have stories that will upset you, stories that will encourage you. But actually, it is one of the most rewarding things you can do. And as a breakup coach, I see people coming in, curling up on my sofa and sobbing, sobbing. But by the end, they leave with hope and plan and a spring in their step. And there's nothing more rewarding than that as a career. So... I now train people to become breakup and divorce coach practitioners with me. So what I've done is I've shortcutted and fast-tracked them through the maze of the different trainings, the different products, all the different, the thousands of hours, the tens of thousands of pounds you can spend on training and put it all together, the things you need, the things that work. Now, if you're interested in becoming a breakup and divorce coach, I have my accreditation program that I've launched. If you already have an existing coaching business and want to add those skills to your current skill set as well, then it's designed for new coaches and existing coaches. It's an online program. I'm massively discounting it at the show today because I want to get it out there and I want to grow the community that I've got. I've got two of my coaches at the front there who've already trained with me. Um, it, It consists of... Three parts. The first part is finding out your coaching personality, who you really are, what makes you tick, and guide you through creating that niche so that you can build your business and give yourself a platform to launch forward. And then I go on to giving you my 10-step coaching session structure. And in the second part, I give you all the techniques and strategies that you need to affect massive change with any client, whether they come in with um, a betrayal issue or a conflict issue, parenting issues, dating issues, whatever it is, you'll have the techniques to cope with it and manage it and help them through it and make a positive difference to so many people. And then the third section of my program helps you grow your coaching business. So it takes those secrets that I've given you today and builds on them to show them how you can get yourself in the media, how you can grow a global coaching business to create revenues from different time zones all around the world and to create products that make you money while you sleep. So normally it's £2,497. I am cutting away £1,000 off that. You'll save that today. It's only £1,497. On top of that, you will get access to my Facebook community of all the coaches that I'm training at the moment. So you'll get that ongoing support, advice and help. And I did a free webinar with the guys the other night. We're all on there supporting each other and helping each other grow. It's a fast growing niche. The accreditation, you will get accredited by my company, which means that you'll get the logo that you can use on your marketing and in your branding. Why is this important? It gives you instant credibility, not only with your clients, but also with the media. When I started out, I didn't have a qualification in divorce coaching, even though I had a lot of other qualifications, but I didn't have it in here, so the media are wary. You need to work out what works to fast track you to getting the articles published and your face on the TV. On top of that, if you sign up at the show, and I can't extend this any other time because of my time, but I'm going to offer you two free coaching sessions with me one-to-one so I can help you tailor your business just the way that you need it so you can grow it as fast as you can. So two sessions with me. 
Also, I'm going to sign my book and give you a free copy of my new book and give you access to one of my business booster webinars that I run with my coaching team. So that's worth over £600, and that's if you sign up at the, at the, at the expo. If you're not sure if you can do this, this is Caroline. Caroline came, did the course in July last year. She completed the, the course plus the coursework that's involved to get the accreditation by the 1st of September. She was accredited, so July to September. And then in December, she won the Best New Business Award at the National Business Women's Awards. So it is possible. Other people are out there, they're doing it, they're making a difference. Caroline's now selling online products, she's got a coaching business, and again, she coaches clients around the world, and that's literally from starting last July. So if you're interested and you've got any questions, whether it's about coaching or heartbreak, I'm on stand, um, E27, which is just over there, do come and see me. I'm offering free 15-minute slots if you want to talk about how you could grow your coaching business. I'm over there this afternoon if you can book him with me. Just to leave you with one final thought, with oomph and gumption, anything is possible. Thank you, guys. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.